Hi, I'm Ava. You're gonna first of all, um, this is lesson 2.13, and we are gonna be doing um, what's my rule in shape patterns? You're gonna be needing your um, math notebook, a pencil, and your math journal. Mm -hmm. Um. So my name is Kylie. And I'm going to be shape, and I'm going to be doing shape patterns. And Ava is going to be doing what's my rule. So let's get started. Let's start with what's my rule. Things to know is whatever goes in must come out. You probably not don't understand that, so let's explain it. Well, in what's my rule, you see that there's it says in and out. The in is what numbers in this column. The out is what is what's in this column. So let's look at that first of all. Um, so six is going to go in, and then you're going to have to do six times five. Then you have to. Figure, and I've already told you the answer, which is thirty. So what comes in must come out. Still, probably does not make sense to you, but I want you guys to pause and try to do this one. If you do not understand this, we're going to do another one. So. Take your time. Okay. You guys already know your five's fat. I, your time's five's fat, of course. So, five times five, we know, is... I mean, five times... Twenty-five divided by five equals five. Or five times five equals twenty-five. Then, forty minus five is eight. Hopefully, I hope I'm doing that right. Yep, it's right. Um, and then 10 times 10 times 5 equals 50. And if I got 8, 40 divided by 8 wrong, just tell me in person. Okay, so another one. I want you guys to do this. It's times 9. Um... I'm going to allow you guys to figure it out first, but instead of using your calculator, in the back of your math journal, you have a times table, and just look at that to check your answers, even though we're going to be checking it here. And remember, the rule is times 9, and they're going to switch from out to in to out to in to out to in. Okay, I'm going to give you a few minutes to pause and do that. Okay, guys, um, let's look at that. Of course, we're going to be using the square one, of course. So, 9 times 9, oops, is 81. So, we can put that in. 9 times 3. I know the hand trick. So, I know that it is 27. And remember, if I'm getting these stuff wrong, please tell me. Or just change it yourself for look at the, time, the back of your math journal. Um, next one it should be 2, because 2 times 9 is 18, because you're just doing 9 plus 9 equals 18. 8 times 9, uh, you can just do 81 minus 9, which should give you 72, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, so 81, 80, 8, 79, 78, 77, 76, 75, 74, 73. I'm happy I looked at that. And then if I'm wrong, no, actually 72. And if I'm wrong, just tell me. Um, nine times, nine times five is 45. I know that one has a five. And I knew that I added that in when I was doing it. Also, finally, this one should be easy for you. Well, most of you. Um, ten times nine. We know that that equals 90. So... If you guys got that wrong, look at it and see how you got that wrong. Um, now we're going to be going to shape patterns with Kylie. Hi, everybody. Um, we're back with Kylie. And um, so there's also another thing good to know about um, shape patterns. You should always follow the pattern or patterns because you never know if it's one pattern or two patterns. 
So, let's get on to the slide. My first slide is this. So, if you follow the pattern, you'll probably get it correct. Um, so, it goes square, and then it goes triangle, and then it goes square, and then it goes heart, and then it goes square. So, I'm going to give you the first answer, um, and the first one where it has it underlined. So, it will be right here. And so, yeah, let's get started. And so, if it goes square, triangle, square, heart, square, what would come, ne come next? I'm going to show you the answer, and then you are going to be doing the rest. This one will actually be triangle, because if I start with square and then go to triangle, oh, so if I do square, triangle, square, heart, square, then you go back to the beginning when it was square, triangle, and then you put the triangle down. So... Please pause for a moment and uh, do the rest of them, but you might want to copy off the rest so that you really understand it, because when you go into your math journal and you don't understand it, um, you could just look back at your notes. So write the entire thing down and I will give you a few moments to do that. Okay, so hopefully you paused by now. Um, and so I'm going to be moving on to the next one. Well, I'm actually going to be doing the answers right now. And if you didn't get them correct, um, just write in your math journal why you think that you didn't get them correct. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing the rest. So the next one will actually be... Um, square, because after that it becomes square, and now you're going to do heart. Okay, so if you didn't get those answers, tell me why you didn't in your notebook. So I'm going to, so I'm going to do the next one, but I want you to try to figure it out first. So I'm going to give you a minute to try to pause and write the entire thing down in your math notebook again so that you know what you are doing you, uh, same thing as i said before when you're doing this in your math journal if you need to look back because you're stuck just look back and yeah so okay so hopefully i gave you enough time to pause um so, now we are going to do the rest. If you did not get these answers correct, same thing. Uh, write, write down in your notebook why you did not get them correct. Um, so, I'm actually going to continue. So, if it goes star, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, star. Try to figure out the pattern. I know you already did, but... I'm going to show you the answers now. So, so it goes star, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, star. So after star, actually, uh, I sorry, I misunderstood something. Actually, um, this is not a triangle. That is actually a diamond. So, oopsies, didn't mean to. Um, so now I'm going to be showing you the answers. So after it goes star, we're going to look back at the beginning. Now it'll go rectangle. And then next it'll be diamond. And then it'll be rectangle again. So if you did not get the same answers as I did, please let me know down in your notebook. So, last slide, and hopefully you get this one correct. So, you, pro you probably don't understand this. Um, what I mean by this is, basically, you're trying to figure out the next pattern right here. Um, and so... I'm actually going to be doing one more slide to show you how to figure out how to do this. 
So, how to do this is by when you do number one, um, you have to start with the first one. I'm just going to do it big. And then you label it, label it as number one. Sorry for the interruptions. We're in the hallway. It's hard to hear us. So we will continue. And I've done that. Now we got to do it again. And now we got to add another one off to the side. And then we have to add one to the top. And that makes two. So now I'm going to be doing the next one. And so, and so here are the last ones. Three would be like this. You would do the two, and then you would add basically another one, and then you would go up and do this one, and then you would add another one, and so that would be three. And then four is this one, and s no, three is this one, sorry, but I'm doing four right now. So I am doing the fourth and so this would be four, so it goes one, two, three, four. So basically you keep on adding the ones on to the ones that you had before to equal that same number. And now last but not least, the one that you guys should um, should answer on this page. So I'm actually going to let you have a few seconds to pause this video and write it down in your notebook. Okay, so hopefully, um, so hopefully you can do this in your math book, and remember to write all the things down, or else you will not understand it when you go back in your notebook to reveal it if you still do not understand. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to go ahead and pause it. Okay, so hopefully that gave you enough time. I'm actually going to do it on this page. So, five. This one is a bit harder. You want to go like this. Basically, same thing. Um, but you want to add the fifth one this time. Instead of just adding four. So... Last but not least, here is the fifth. And so, thank you guys for watching me and Ava's video. Yep. And hopefully you have, you had fun with this, watching this video with me and Ava. So we will see you guys another time, hopefully. Uh, thanks for watching the video. See you soon. Bye.